Hey guys, it's John from John's DIY Playground. Today, uh, not so fun area of the playground to work in. We're in the bathroom. Going to have to do a little bit of work on the toilet today. Um, I've been hearing something going on under the lid, like a almost like a fill, but this thing has kind of a unique filler uh, device compared to the old style flappers. It's a, a fill valve that just moves up and down. It's got an anti-siphon valve. I'm hearing noises, suspecting that I have a leak, but I'm not sure. It can only be one of two things the flapper area that dumps the closet water into the toilet or the fill valve itself is uh, dysfunctional and the way to detect that is the most tried and true way that most people recommend is just to get some of this uh, food coloring and uh, we'll put that into the the water closet and see what happens after about 30 minutes um, just take the food coloring and put in 10 or 12 drops it's not critical you don't flush it at this point just let it sit and then we'll check inside the toilet bowl after about a half hour see if we got red if I got red that means my uh, the flapper area uh, part of the valve is defective if I don't see anything then that means this valve that does the filling part of the tank is basically just dumping into the the uh, port there so I have to replace the item on the left so let's wait and see what happens so it's been about 15 minutes and so far there's no color in the toilet bowl and one other thing I thought of doing was to take the line from the fill valve that goes into the overflow and put that into a Ziploc container just kind of sitting on top of the water here so that if anything's coming from that uh, fill valve I'll be able to see it showing up inside the, the Ziploc and know that if it's filling the toilet uh, water closet or not. So I'll leave that there too for another 15-20 minutes and we'll see what we got. Maybe you can hear that noise. Um, that's the siphoning noise that I think I'm hearing that uh, has me concerned, but don't see water moving in this case, but that's what we're after is to see if we've got any water leaks or if the fill valve is pumping more water into the water closet. So I waited at least 60 minutes here, guys. It's uh, been an hour since I've uh, put the drops in and Here's the verdict, wah wah, right in the bottom of the, uh, of the uh, toilet bowl. So we definitely have a leak at the flapper valve. Um, so I will have to take a look at that. Hopefully it's something that I can just uh, maybe clean the seal or maybe just replace the bottom valve itself because it's kind of a uh, fancy pants flapper valve. This one's actually somewhat like, uh, I would call it European or Japanese. With the, It's got a number one and a number two button that go to the <clears throat> fill uh, the flapper. It's... Uh, it puts in a little bit of water for the flush. If it's number one, then number two gives the full flush. The other thing I discovered from Corky, who makes this uh, anti-siphon fill valve, is it has user serviceable parts in it, which are actually uh, very interesting. I didn't know there was any fill valves out there that had user serviceable parts. So I'll put a link in my information below to their video. It's only three minutes long, but very informative. And I'll probably uh, just clean those parts while I'm at it too. But uh, got to focus now on this... Uh, flapper valve area and try to get the leak repaired there. As I mentioned the flapper that I have is a little bit uh, fancy pants. It's a dual flush system so it's not uh, quite as common as other installations. So I went back and I found on the manufacturer's website this is uh, MJSI who makes it for uh, in my case called the Hydro Right. I did find the installation instructions and kinda got my bearings again on how this thing is supposed to work. And I noticed on the uh, diagrams that there's this black ring that's supposed to go over um, what would be the, I guess you call it the filler valve. Um, and in my situation, I noticed that you're supposed to have a zip tie here. And I found that zip tie in the bottom of my water closet. So I think what happened was I used chlorine tablets and that caused a big problem. And so what I ended up with... Um, as you can see in this photo, I took of inside my toilet tank. The rubber ring um, is pretty soft now, and I think the chlorine attacked it, so um, it's not holding this thing down firmly onto the seal down at the bottom to keep the water from flowing into the bowl. And as you can see, the this is where the um, zip tie is supposed to be. So what I did in the meantime, um, I probably have to get a new rubber ring eventually, but... Um, 
I kept the existing rubber ring. I pushed down a little bit with a little bit of pressure to make sure this thing was uh, sealed well. And then I used a hose clamp to uh, tighten up on this uh, uh, filler tube and keep the pressure downwards on this device so that it will ensure a good seal. And then I also put a new zip tie here which helps squeeze this uh, part of the whole assembly onto the tube and, and uh, grips it uh, firmly. So now the thing is not moving. I think everything is good now. And um, yeah, I'm not hearing any more noises of the thing filling uh, water into the water closet. So that's it. And uh, it's a little bit of unique installation, but I'll put in the, diag in the uh, info below the models of the equipment I'm using if you're interested. And uh, hope you learned something. If you did, please click like and hit subscribe on my uh, channel so you can be notified when new videos come out. So this is John from John's DIY Playground. Have a nice day.